My job is head of being head of the lab at O2. At the moment I'm in financial services but I'm moving to travel tech. Uh, we make software and apps to help get more people running, walking and cycling. Different types of research for startups to help them work out what products and services to make next. Yeah, so I actually started as a software engineer before I became managing director. But um, both that role and the managing director role are jobs where you don't need any formal qualifications. What's important is that you can do the job. Ironically, I didn't need any qualifications to start a business. I think that's one of the really important things to remember is you don't have to have gone to university to sort of um, be an entrepreneur or sort of start your own company. I did biology, chemistry, um, politics and English literature. But I don't have a technical background. So I studied English at university. Which wouldn't necessarily end, get you to where I am now. So when I was really young, I don't think I was that interested in technology. When I was younger, I knew I wanted to do something creative, but I didn't know exactly what that was. The sooner you can get out there and maybe get an internship or some work experience, even for a week. So I worked in a hospital for two weeks. I worked in India and also I worked with a law firm for two weeks. Uh, you'll learn a lot in that short period of time that, that nothing else can really teach you. No two days are um, similar so and no two projects and products are similar so you're constantly learning. You can now learn how to teach yourself on the internet and that's really important because employers will look for that more and more. You can get as much experience as you can. Um, from a range of places. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you really, you really love the subjects that you're doing. They're looking for people who could already, they already know how to teach themselves, even if they don't necessarily have the skills. More emphasis on, on, on the business side, on marketing, on being able to talk to people, being able to communicate, to have ideas. Knowing how to be nice to people and how to get what you want from people. A lot of talking to people, uh, so I need to know when to shut up and listen. What is it that gets you really excited about something and says yes I really I really want to do this? You have to be quite uh, determined um, and really enthusiastic about what it is you're doing. If you want to be successful at your job you have to do something that you really love and you're really passionate about. So if doing maths bores you rigid then just sitting through a maths degree and not really enjoying it isn't going to help you. You need to look around at the different aspects of what you do and find the ones that you really enjoy. Pursue your own passions and what you're really enthusiastic about.